Namaste, Ni Hao. On behalf of CNI and the private sector, I would really warmly welcome you and thank you for coming to Nepal. Vice Chairman of CCPIT, Your Excellency, the Chinese Ambassador, thank you so much for this program. Programs like this are very much needed. I've been given only five minutes, so I will be fast. First of all, let me say something which I honestly believe. Nepal is truly a paradise, a real paradise in many ways. We have the world's best weather, the mountains, the water, the biodiversity, the culture. But one thing people forget, we have excellent people. Nepalese are known to be loyal, hardworking, and brave. We have a young population, under 25. And that is very critical in growth. We have about 100 to 150,000 new graduates every year coming into the workforce, which means we in CNI need to provide at least 1,000 new factories. We are a long way from that position. I would say we are not even 5 to 10 percent of where Nepal's potential can be. But with your help, I see that there is a future. Change today is the reality. COVID, the pandemic, has taught all businessmen from all over the world that we must keep changing to survive. And now more than ever, Nepal is at this point where it can catapult forward. More than anything, to simplify where Nepal's position is, I would like to say, if you can remember where Vietnam was 30 years ago, that is where Nepal is today where no matter what you invest in, it will do well. Most Nepalese businessmen, most members of CNI, all have done exceptionally well. Multinationals that have invested in Nepal 20, 30 years ago, their business has grown not five times, not 10 times, but at least 20 times, if not 100 times. And if you look at the next 10 to 15 to 20 years, I see those who are fortunate enough to invest in Nepal, they will also grow at these levels. And we're not talking double-digit growth, but most likely, if not very likely, triple-digit growth. Because Nepal is a young place. Nepal is a small place. In small places, big things can happen. Nepal is one of these beautiful countries where the Nepalese are very resilient. They always find a way to make things work. And here, believe me, we have a lot of good things, but we are an environment where there's very little infrastructure. We have a problem of being a poor country, but at the same time, as a businessman, as an entrepreneur, this is a great opportunity. There are so many things that you can invest in in Nepal that will do excellent. Right now, only 7% of our GDP is from manufacturing. Some look at that as a bad thing, but I look at that as, wow, what an opportunity. So many things you can invest in. I even joke with my friends, you can just look around and say, oh, if I did flower business, I can make money in Nepal. That's how easy it is. But I have a list of 10 businesses that are excellent, excellent, fantastic areas for investment, which will have fantastic growth. First of all is the textile business for Chinese investment. Very easy, very good. 40% is already there in textile, but still has dramatic, dramatic potential for growth. Food processing. Very little has been done in food processing, and again, an excellent area for investment. Cement, chemical industry, paper, pharma, leather handicrafts, and of course, education and tourism. These are all areas that have just been scratched. Just scratched, just started. When, you, when we go to China and we see all the growth, it's so exciting for us. But there's so many people involved in so many different businesses in most of the world. Here in Nepal, it's virgin territory. You can become pioneers, you can become the first and you can really grow, and I honestly feel that. And we in Nepal, 
are open for business. We're very lucky. We have a dynamic political system and excellent bureaucracy where the government and the bureaucracy work together to make things happen. Yes, nothing is easy in life. Everything you must struggle. But in Nepal, things can happen fast. Things can happen and grow very fast exponentially. I'm not just saying this as an individual or on behalf of CNI, but when you look at Nepal and the success stories, it's amazing. So we all welcome you to Nepal. We thank you very much for coming. I hope this is the beginning of many interactions. But I like to say, which I know I have a few good Chinese friends who are business, less talk, more business. <laughs> but thank you very much. I hope to see you all uh, more and more often, and we look forward to our cooperation together. Thank you.